All right, welcome back everyone. This is Dragon in White here and we're back with another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This is take two. And fortunately in take one, nothing happened. It was just a warm up fight, uh, trying to get back in the groove of things. Um, yep. So as usual, I alternate my recordings between Dragon Ball Z as well as uh, Assassin's Creed so I have my OBS setting set up such that uh, such that it focuses on a specific window and basically guess what happened I forgot to adjust the settings So yeah, uh, settings were left at the Assassin's Creed settings and henceforth since I wasn't running the Assassin's Creed game, nothing was recorded. I mean there was audio, there just wasn't video which I'm guessing doesn't make for much fun. Uh, in any case, um, I also spoke a bunch of things about my circumstances a, a little, uh, which I will go through again. Meanwhile, for those of you who don't follow my Assassin's Creed uh, 2 series, you will see... Um, you will see, you'll probably notice something very different, which is this time you see a face cam. Uh, I actually had the equipment for face camming for actually very long already, but I have been rather lazy to set it up or even want to do it because uh, sometimes I record when I just woke up and my hair is messy and I look like absolute crap uh, there's also another thing whereby I my room is rather messy and I'd rather not show on the video I don't have a dedicated uh, studio for doing this uh, everything is all done for my uh, my room my room slash office which I also use um, for my translation. In fact, the rig which I'm playing on right now is my translation rig as well. Uh, basically, it's my all-in-one rig. So, um, I had to figure out some kind of green screen solution and while I was already aware of it, I haven't really bothered to deal with it. I could easily buy a green screen, place it behind me and use it. It is viable. But there's also the other issue of um, of not of needing space unfortunately I, I don't really have a lot of space right here singapore is a place where space is very tight so um no it's not easy to find a dedicated space with a lot of room for you to do things unless you rent an office of course Okay, uh, so that is uh, face camera settled. You realize that bits of myself are being cut out. What I'm doing is not a software, it's not a hardware solution to green screen. Basically, green screen is whereby you have a usually a, a green colored screen, not necessarily green, but usually green. And what it does is by the program, it basically is a uh, program to uh, delete off all bits that are of that specific color um, and henceforth erasing your background while you are shown in the foreground. What I have here is an AI solution. Basically what it does is it uses um, artificial intelligence to determine what is background and foreground and then it deletes it. Uh, so basically software versus hardware. And as you can see, it is not ideal, it's not perfect, but it beats nothing. So, um, you know, it's not really, in my opinion, too, uh, not too bad a setup. Wait a minute, I want to... Okay, and let's move on in the main story. I have, I think I warmed up enough. And yeah, so as I was also saying that uh, 
I had some circumstance. So normally when I record games, I do it uh, alternatively. I'll do two or three episodes of Assassin's Creed, and then I'll do two or three of uh, Dragon Ball Z. And well, what happened was in between this, uh, I recorded Dragon Ball Z, I think, not Dragon Ball, um, Assassin's Creed like two or three days, three days ago. Um, and well, I was tinkering around the system and I caused my BIOS to uh, crash. Had to reset the whole thing. My overclock settings were all off whack, back to default. And I needed to spend some time to um, recalibrate the thing, to reset it up, to check for stability and stuff like that. Yep. Stop. Okay, Stop. and... Today is the 20th of February. In fact, I actually need this episode for tomorrow. So it's cutting it rather close. Um, time now is 1 p.m. So I'm actually starting early in the day so that I have time to render and set it off. All right, let's move on to the main quest first. Just the person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to- I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the job. Oh. No problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Let's see. Hoverite, Molluskium... Tummy pipe. First one for hovering, third one for temperature. No idea what the second one is. Um, but yeah. So um, I think I also mentioned my controller before, but I didn't think I ever got around to showing it. So this is the chance here. This is the controller I'm using now. Let me just quit to the light here so that you guys can see it. Maybe this light, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, not the best. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Okay, now while moving on, few use uh, left bumper, bumper uh, trigger in bumper. Okay, to search for your surroundings or key and detect where you can find materials and other items. The location of the items will glow when detected, and the color of the glow indicates what you can find there. Yellow means deer, wolf, and other animals. Fruit trees, are red, are rare animals and rare fruits I'm guessing purple boxes rocks and other objects okay wait do I already have these parts appreciate the help nope I done okay flying would be a good idea here ooh Bunch of stuff around. Okay, let's just focus on the main quest first. Uh, they are right this way. So I figured the easiest way to get orbs actually is not by hunting for it, but instead if you fight enemies, you actually get quite a bunch of orbs after every match. So that works out pretty well. Okay, that should be what I want there. Dang it, just right, I was about to get it. There we go, and as you can see over on the top, uh, right, okay, right above where I am, my head is at over here, no, not here, um, well, okay, I lost it, it's too slow, but it, it came out. Yeah, I'm still kind of not used to the camera, uh, for me, the camera doesn't look mirrored, in fact, it look 
looks like you see I'm raising my right hand but to me it looks like I'm raising my left hand although I think to you guys this probably looks right as though you are facing me now where was that thing there Okay, so uh, before I continue, let me make a small tweak to a setting. Okay, there. So what I done was I adjusted my audio gate. What is an? It's basically is a a thing that prevents any sound from being recorded or entered into the system if it is not at least of a certain I volume. So I figured out another trick is that I could use the um, super attack button or the, the bumper buttons to help me with making to, to slow down time to uh, figure out certain decisions and stuff like that. I actually won. So uh, that way, well there. Yeah, I, I have my camera cropped out so that I don't take up too much space in there. I mean, let's face it, my camera is picking up way more than it needs to. Uh, what I'm currently using is a GoPro, uh, GoPro 6 to be exact. And well, by its nature of being an action cam, it takes too much of uh, my surroundings. I am actually working on changing out to a webcam. Um, personally, I feel that the quality of the GoPro isn't that excellent for this. Um, I think it's, it's not meant for this in the first place, so hence by nature, it, uh, it is not ideal. It works, it can work, it takes a reasonable quality picture. In fact, what you're seeing on me here is actually a 2K video. A uh, 2K recording of uh, for face cam. Uh, honestly, actually, I, we don't really need that much, but um, you know, since it can handle, I just went for it. What would that be? Ooh, I don't really care for that. Okay. There is found another one. All right, and as we go along this, I think I would like to continue on with my usual shameless plots. So, firstly, as this. many of you know, I translate Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation. So this is a Chinese web novel that is being released at GravityTales.com, and I and it's translated for free uh, by me and if you, can, you guys can access the chapters for free to read and it will be available well every single chapter that is released will be available and will not be locked behind a paywall uh, of course uh, I do need an income so I do have a patreon setup and that's the second item uh, but I do have a patreon setup so for those of you who like to support me for what I do on the translations or the YouTube, uh, you can do so at, at Patreon, and Patreon is what allows me to continue continue doing all this uh, without having to worry about making a living, uh, as I or surviving in fact, as I continue on doing this and preparing for my licensing exam to uh, start work as a doctor. Um, yes, for those of you who are not aware, I am I graduated with an MBB. S, which means I am a qualified doctor. And these fights are getting a little irritating. So uh yeah, so that is Patreon and also if if you support on Patreon, 
you gain uh, access to my stockpile, my early access chapters, um, or advanced chapters as we tend to call them. Uh, of course, various tiers will get you a different number of chapters. If you would like to read ahead of the public, uh, you can do so there. And um, yeah, basically the novel is an ongoing project. It is not finished and it is really, really long. In fact, I'm pretty sure the number of words in there have really exceeded like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings combined. And probably even quadruple that at least. Uh, so there is actually really plenty to read out there. Um, it's just that the story is still not completed by its nature of being a web novel. And uh, I release chapters on gravitytales.com every day. Um, all the links to everything, the Patreon, the website, they, are all, they all will be down in the description below. And where is that last item? I can't find it. And uh, finally, I have a merch store set up as well. It is an alternate means of income, albeit not that not doing that well. Uh, but I think I can handle this. Um, there it is. It is still something nonetheless. If you would like to purchase to support me through that method, uh, that is also viable as well. And through this, you also get. Uh, a physical item, a t-shirt or mug or something and I'm working on expanding the catalogue. It is this in the process is and right? I already got a picture Looks done. Now I just need to wait for sample to, to design the thing and put on the design and design and, and, and yes and like uh, set up the locations of where things to be printed, make arrangements for them and have uh, samples to be sent I to me. And uh, you know what? How about one last fight before we go to Boma? There we go. Okay, the most irritating dudes I find are the attack bots. This fight is not going that good for some reason. Okay, there we go. One more done and off to the main quest. Uh, Boma should be this way. You know, this game really does improve significantly when playing with the controller. When playing with the, with the keyboard, it was absolutely terrible. The keybinds were very difficult to reach, things like that. It's not easy. The only advantage the keyboard has was the mouse, which uh, even now, as you can see, I am moving using a mouse. You can tell the difference in the, the way the thing moves. I use that for anything I need to aim. So, you know, best of both worlds. Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma. Okay, I got Bulma. Let's see, she's good with, well, engineering stuff. Why, why does it have on the muscle? Hmm. Oh, not that I can do anything about her. Oh, this is for building. I didn't know we can build stuff. Okay. Okay, okay. That's interesting to know. Piccolo's old ship. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan. Just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! I I think I got most of what I need, so that should be good. Talk to Boma when ready. Okay. 
I'm gonna hey walk around a bit and take a look at the inside. Stop! Do it. Okay, well actually it's pretty... I don't know. I would say it's like a combination of nice and horrible at the same time. It's like, environment is nice but yeah, kind of like caged in. Feels a bit weird. I suppose that's what those are. That's what the animals at the zoo feel like. So you all set for the trip? All right, let's go. Okay, I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. I forgot to check to make sure there isn't any more side quests, but I don't think there is. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? <laughs> okay, that is uh, very different, okay? My mom thought I should look more presentable, you know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Master Roshi. Write me every day, Gohan. All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek. Here we come. It appears that my aircon Meanwhile, has started just leaking. As Bulma hmm. and the others left for planet Nemec, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! <sighs> Meanwhile... 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! That is fuss. Hmm. This place... Kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. <gasps> hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> All right! All right! We found we one! Found we one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Which probably means someone is gathering them ready. Uh, yeah, you're right! <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. Yeah, of course, it's uh, Vegeta. Lower your power level. They'll know we're here. He, yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him.
I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. I thought Bulma actually went to reprogram one of the scouter. Hmm. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Uh, right. Two months. Hmm? What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that, Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me. Lord Frieza, Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting, those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Do we get to play as Vegeta? That would be interesting. Right. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me! No! That's our ship! <laughs> Sucks to be them! Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time! Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you! Here goes! Right! Okay, big fight! Just like the Saiyans we fought back on Earth! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, uh, not as big as I thought it to be. Ooh, level up. That's good. Yeah. Hey, nice going, Gohan. Nice going. There's nothing nice about this. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500? Is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Kui. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> <laughs> no point waiting for his attack, I'll just hunt him down and blow him to bits. Hmm. Well now. Dex Freezer's ship. <laughs> <laughs> it is it really is my lucky day. Not only I get to rip Kree Limb from Blim, I get to scrap Freezer's ship as well. Oh, two. Okay, and this is it for this episode. Now that we have a bit of free space. Before I do anything, I am actually a bit worried about crash because I think my overclocking is not entirely stable yet. But it should be stable enough for now. So safe, make sure. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!